Hello, I am running on about three hours of sleep combined. Three hours is like stretching it, but it's 6 p.m. right now and I'm in my hotel room in Florence. I actually had a great journey because originally I was seated at the very back of the plane. My seat was like kind of broken. So then she let me move and then I got like a whole row of seats to myself, but like the rest of the plane was like entirely packed. So then I was just there chilling with like my empty row privilege and I was like really making the most out of it. But then I got so caught up in the excitement of having empty row that I didn't actually use it to sleep and I just wanted to be awake so that I could fully experience the privilege. I guess that was kind of counterproductive. I had like an hour nap when I got back. Oh my gosh, I had such a dumb moment. I couldn't figure out how the light turned on and I like tried everything that I thought I could do to like make it work and then they sent an electrician and then he was like, you need to press the on button. To be fair, in my defense though, like it was a very strange light system because like why is there an on button on, on top of the light switch? But I have yet to explain the reason for my being here. Like, besides the fact that Florence is a lovely place to visit. This is my first time here, but I've heard amazing things about it. The main reason for me being here and not in another gorgeous city. If you're just a real one, then you will know who my friend Sophia is. But she lives in Canada. In August last year, I flew to Toronto and I met her for the first time. And that's like one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. So she's in Europe with her family. And so I was like, oh my gosh, you're so close to me. Like, I have to come and meet you. Even though I'm so tired, I didn't want to nap anymore because I want to go see her. We're going to have a little reunion. I'm going to finish doing my makeup so I can go and leave quickly and go see her quickly, which I think is completely understandable. The reunion has occurred. Ah! <laughs> so I'm too giddy for this. So me and Sophia were very like the same. So we're very like <laughs> right now in the hallway where there's other people. I came to her hotel and then we had a little reunion, but like the video, okay. It's so, it's so bad. Like it looked like she was a <laughs> We looked like a couple that's like reuniting after like a long distance relationship. The not in a good way, in like a cringy way. No, but in a like, we were literally like wrestling each other, like, like wrestling BDA, like... The video is just a little bit questionable, but we were also in quite like a confined space. Yeah, so, like, it was like an arch and I was wearing football. Yeah, she was like waddling it. <laughs> so me and See Sophia out. Uh, See you at dinner. Oh my son, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wee wee wee. No, don't get my photos cut out. No. Yeah, put it. Oh my god, yes. No, no, no. See, I'm not posting. Oh, shit, shit. I'm not going to do that. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, thank you. This is a pink rose. The ring is hidden in the rose. And then I'm going to individually take each petal out. And then it's going to reveal the ring. I'm lost. I'm trying to not lose this shirt. <gasps> Oh my god! It is. What do you think it is? Wait, wait, wait. Just say it. It's a ring. This is. Oh, very annoying. And your daughter's like, getting married. Who's getting married? Me! Me! You guys are both getting married? No, I didn't know. You didn't share that. See, this was the rose. And then I took apart the rose to reveal the ring. Oh, okay. It's very romantic. And the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. She said yes! That's joyous to that. We're so happy you could be here on this joyous occasion. And even then, although we're young, our love makes up for it. <laughs> love. <laughs> and we'll see you at the wedding. Woo! Can I marry a witness? No, you can't, actually. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Sophia right now. We're actually at Italy, which they have in London, but hey ho! So I got a panini, <laughs> but I'm like a fussy eater and I don't like tomato. Like, I, I love tomato sauce, but I hate tomatoes on their own. So I have a mozzarella sandwich with literally just like mozzarella and pesto. And then Sophia got pizza. Margarita! And then we're gonna go to some shops and thrifting as well. I also took some Instagram photos. Here we cheers our pizza. We are at Bradley right now. I like Everyone it. has this skirt, but I think it's cute. I have it and I like it.
She found the skirt. Yes. It's amazing. It makes my ass look good. It so. does. Lauren's brandy top. He didn't say. <laughs> Okay, so we and Sophia are at this place called Gucci Garden. Sophia's currently occupied. I don't know if it's a game, I can't tell. How does it work? I don't know. <laughs> I actually hung out with these girls last night who live in Florence and they were so so lovely I'm gonna get ready now do my makeup. I'm not loving the way my hair looks. I can't lie. I need to sort that out but with her family and now we're like walking back and the walk oh my god i just love europe at night like it's just one of my things that like ooh, it's just like europe at night it's just one of those things which just is like a simple pleasure like this tickles me differently is it me and sophia are very hyper oh my god sophia, we, have to we got engaged and now we're looking for wedding dresses this is where we're gonna go for my special bride Oh my god, I just saw this white Vespa, black and white Vespa. I'm like dying to go on a Vespa. It's like if anyone lives in Italy and has a Vespa, like please hit me up. Uh, the adrenaline I got from riding an electric bike today, imagine me on a Vespa. It's gonna be luxurious, it's gonna be glorious, it's gonna be bellissima. Lisa, <laughs> see you bye. Bye, bye. We just rode an electric scooter to get to the hotel. Oh, yeah. Terrifying. Um, super fun, I definitely like it. Okay, hi vlog. So I just got back. Um, I literally did these plats while I was like walking, like running through the hotel. And I don't even know what content I filmed because, oh my god, my neck is itchy again. Sorry, I don't know why my neck is itchy. Yeah, me and Sophia just like hung out at the hotel for like 10 minutes, literally. We just went in the photo booth because there's a photo booth in my hotel. And then we tried to go to the pool, but it was closed. And we were just like running up and down the hotel trying to find like the lips because there's like different lips for different things. It's very confusing for no reason. Also, I got these cool glasses from Tiger today. Do they literally have this in London? Yes, they do. But look how cool they are. I went downstairs to get these waters and they low-key taste <gasps> shit. Okay, I just spilled water all over the floor and they low-key taste spicy. Like I don't really know what's going on. Like maybe it's because they're in the carton, but they generally taste like someone's put like cayenne pepper in it. Not really sure what's going on there. It's spicy, but I like it. It's very nice. There's this fridge, or it says cool box. I'm assuming it's a fridge. I don't know why, they've got these like funky decorations. Like, what? oh my God, is this an actual sand timer? Pretty interesting. There's this like fridge thing. I don't actually know if it's a real fridge or if it's just like part of their funky decorations. Yeah, I feel this urge to like go outside and like make TikToks in the lobby. Okay, so Sophia is currently on her way to my hotel and today is our last day that we have to hang out with each other because she leaves tomorrow morning, but we've mostly done all the kind of stuff that we wanted to do in the city. I do want to get gelato because I just haven't had enough gelato on this trip. I've literally had one scoop and that's not enough because I love gelato. I've literally been having to wash my bangs like twice a day here because it just gets so sweaty. Okay, so Sophia should be here any moment now, so I'm going to go downstairs. I'm eating my avocado toast. It's actually pretty banging, but it wasn't worth eight euros fifty. I feel a bit scammed. <laughs> it's funny. I can't even believe it. I don't want to be in the hotel. <laughs> this Sophia is going to be like one of those models, like at the pool. Wait, Sophia, you have to do the thing where you're like leaning on that and looking out into the distance, and then I'll take a photo. I also yeah. wore makeup because I didn't know you were coming to the pool. Oh, there's a ladybug. <laughs> Sophia wants to pet the ladybug. Oh, besties. This is only child behavior. <laughs> we made some friends. What are you looking 
Shaggy little gremlin. We made some friends. Oh my shoulders. By the rooftop, right? And they have speakers. And the whole time, the guy was playing like really good music. He was playing like Frank Ocean, Steve Lacey. So I was like, I like the music. So I asked to cue stuff. So I've queued a bunch of stuff. So now my playlist is playing, and I feel honored. Sophia can't handle them cooking a singular onion I don't, I don't for even, like the past 10 minutes. Right there. So Am I looking at it? Well, your eyes are closed, so she's having to self isolate. <laughs> oh, oh my I god, cry. Wait, your eyes. why are they actually red? I they hurt, I tell you. Don't touch your eyes. They're burning. Got ice cream. Samia says it's mid. We also took photos. It's, it's piled high, and if it's piled high, that means it's not good gelato. Like good gelato is one well. that you can't see. Oh but there weren't any other places around, so like I just wanted to get that one. We went to the photo booth, and we're like literally so sweaty and disgusting right now. But so it's not ideal timing. But but they're so cute, yeah, and we have cute. no other time, it's unfortunately. More for, it's more for memories, okay? So it's going in my memory box. <laughs> Good morning. It is my last morning in Florence, and I've just like packed up my room. But I'm about to go down and check out. Then I'm gonna go meet Sophia because I don't leave till like this evening. But Sophia has a train to catch at like 11. By the way, it's like nine right now. <laughs> I'm iced out. I knew she was gonna say that. I'm iced out. <laughs> I knew the second you said that. Say bye to Sophia. I don't know when I'm gonna see these guys next. Yeah. <laughs> it also feels like no time has passed. Yeah, it really doesn't feel like time has passed with you. <laughs> with you, my love. Yeah, man. It's so hot here. I know. It's because I'm here. It's because I'm here. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I just said bye to Sophia. Literally so sad. She's gone now. I just like found a bike conveniently here. So I'm gonna bike to this jewelry shop and then I'm meeting a friend which I actually made here like the other day for lunch. sweat this much after going to like a class or something i thought it was a good idea to bike here 16 minutes in like the middle of the day through the heat and my phone literally got like the your phone is too hot thing i'm just gonna do my skincare wash my face and then get changed because i'm actually disgusting i'm leaving the hotel now and i don't know why but whenever i leave a hotel after going on a holiday or like anywhere i just feel sad like, I'm leaving the swings behind. Like, who knows when I'm next gonna get to sit on the swing. Uh, 